So one of the last things we have to look at with income tax is USC and PRFI. These are two other taxes that people pay. USD, USC stands for Universal Social Charge and PRFI stands for Pay Related Social Insurance. Okay, These are very similar to how we calculate a gross tax of PAYE. Okay, but just USC has a few more steps to it. Okay, and the best way to explain it is through an example. So let's start with that. Okay. Um, okay, so this is an example of how PRSI and USC is charged. So PRSI is handy enough to work out. Okay, so it's 4% on the gross income over 18,304. All right, so for someone who earns less than 18,304, they wouldn't have to pay a PRSI. It's only on the income you earn above this. So if someone was earning, let's say 19,000, they'd only have to pay 4% on the income above this amount. So it would be the income of about 696 euro. Okay, they pay 4% of that in PRSI. Then we have USC, which is quite like PAYE, except rather than just having two components, you could have up to four. Again, it depends on how much people earn. So say, for example, if someone was earning 12,000, they'd only pay 0.5% in USC. Okay, because they don't earn above 12,000. So you have to pay 0.5% up to the first 12,000 you earn. So then on the next 7,862, you have to pay 2%. Okay, so for example, if I was earning, again, let's say 19,000, I'd have to pay 0.5% on the 12,000, and then I'd have to pay 2% on the rest. Okay, on the rest of my thing, because I wouldn't make any more after that, I would never reach the 50, I would never reach this point. Does that make sense? Right, so it's kind of like um, a stepping stairs in a way. In a, in a way. Okay, um, probably the best way to explain this is as always through an example. So let us, let us get started on the one below. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the middle for a minute. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, we've got this guy called Peter, he's earning 87,350 euro per annum, so per year, and he must pay PRSI and USC. So we need to calculate his PRSI for the year. Okay, so his PRSI is 4% on his income above 18,304. Now he's earning 87,350, but he doesn't have to pay PRSI on all of that. It's just the income he earns above this amount. So to find out exactly what that is, we're going to take 18,304 from his gross income. So that's 69,000 and 46. Okay, that is the amount he must pay PRSI and he must pay 4% of this in PRSI. So we get 4% of that. So 69046 times 0 0.4. Oh, sorry, not 0 0.4. Good Lord, that's 40%. No, 0 0.04. Be careful of that. So 69046 times 0 0.04, that is 2,761.84 euro, okay. So that right there is the amount he pays. Peter Asai, okay. That is 4% of his income above 18,304. That's how you calculate Peter Asai. Right, USC is a, it's got a bit more steps to it, but it's it's fairly doable. Let's have a look. Okay, so he's paying 
Oh yeah, his gross income is 87,350. So he's got to pay 0.5% on the first 12,000. So let's work out that first. So we've got 12,012 times 0 0.000. No, sorry, that. So 0 0.005. Because 0 0.5 would be 50%. 0 0.05 would be 5%. So 0 0.005 would be 0 0.5%. <laughs> okay, so we'll get 0.5% of this first. That's our starting point. And oh, put an extra decimal point there that I need to, sorry. Okay, so that's 60 euro and 6 cent. Okay. But he earns more than that. He earns another 7,862. So he had to pay 2% on that. And that's 157.24. I'm going to start... Um, sorry, I'm going to start underlining these because we're going to have to add them up at the end. So just so I know what to add. Okay. Now, does he earn another 50,000 on top of that? I Yeah, well, it looks like he does, but we'll just make sure, right? So 12,012 plus 7,862 plus 50,126. Okay, so that's 70,000, right? So he's earning 87,350. So he's going to have to pay 4.5% on 50,126. So once we've done that, so we'll do that right now, actually, before we move on. Okay, so sorry, right, let's start this again. <clears throat> okay, so he's earning 87,350. He pays 0.5% on the first 12,012. Okay, if he earns 7,862 more, he pays 2% on that, which he does. Okay, and then if he earns another 50,126, which he does, he pays 4.5% on that. OK, and then he pays 8% on whatever he earns above the sum of these three amounts. OK, so what I mean by that is if we add them up again, so I've got 12,012 plus 7,862 plus 50,126. Right. We've taxed him on the first 70,000 of his income. OK, so whatever he earns above that, he has to pay 8% on. Right, and how we find that out is we just take 70,000 away from his gross income. Right, so that is um, 17,350. So he's going to have to pay 8% of that as well. So we get that now. So times 0 0.08, 17. Five zero times point zero eight. That is one thousand three hundred eighty eight. Okay, so what we've done so far is we followed the USC table with the rates. So we've got point five percent of his first twelve thousand twelve. That was this sixty euro and six cent here. And then we got 2% on the next 7,862 that he earns. So that's 157 euro there. And then on the next 50,000 he earns, he has to pay 4.5%, which we got here. And then whatever he earns above that, he has to pay 8% on. Okay, so it's not above 50,126. It's on the income he hasn't been taxed on so far. So when we added these three together, we found out that we'd already taxed 70,000 of his income. 
So we have to tax the rest by 8%. And we did that. So once we have all that, in order to get his total USC, we have to add these four figures together. All right, so let's do that now. So 60.06, 157.24, 157.24, 1,388. So add them up together. And that is 3,860.97. So that right there is his total USC that he has to pay. Okay. So when you're doing these ones, PRSI isn't that difficult to calculate, but with USC, what I would what I would advise is to highlight your answers as you get them. So then you know exactly what figures you're adding up in the end. Okay. Now let's say for example that he did not earn. Um, more than 70,000. Okay, so maybe he didn't make it to this 8% balance. You would do the same as we did with this one, with this one. So say, let's say, for example, he only earned, um, see, he only earned 40,000, right? You would do these two, but then whatever income you haven't taxed, you would take that. So, sorry, whatever income you've taxed, you would take that from his gross income to find out what he pays at 4.5%. Because if he doesn't earn above 70,000, he doesn't have to pay 4.5% on 50 grand that he's not earning. That's not fair, right? So say in the event that he's only paying 40,000, he has to pay the 0.5 on the 12, he has to pay the 2,000 on the next 7,000 he earns, but whatever else he earns, however much that might be, you tax that by 4.5%. And the same if you work your way down. So if they didn't earn any more than um, 15,000, you would do the same. You tax the 12,000 and then you tax the 2% of the rest that you haven't taxed already. Okay, but with USC, just take it step by step and take your time with it.